This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm going to talk about how you can tell if your shoulder is dislocated. So shoulder dislocations can be classified into people that dislocate them all the time and someone who's never dislocated them. And then there's stuff in between of some people having what we call subluxed shoulder where their shoulder almost pops out but doesn't. So if you've never dislocated your shoulder before, usually you'll be able to tell if it's dislocated because A, it'll hurt really bad, and two, you won't be able to move it in the normal way because the shoulder not being in its socket doesn't, doesn't have the normal biomechanics. So when you try to move it, like for instance, if you try to touch your opposite shoulder or put your arm behind your back, you're not going to be able to and it's going to hurt really bad. And the best way to tell is to get x-rays of your shoulder and that'll show whether the shoulder is dislocated or not. But a word of caution is that there's a specific view that the x-ray tech or the radiologist need to get in order to tell if it's dislocated. Because sometimes on a normal view, if they just get a straight picture, uh, x-ray picture of your shoulder, sometimes it, will, it won't look dislocated when it is. Is you have to get a view called the axillary view. Axillary just means armpit. It basically is a view where they shine the x-ray beam into your armpit and it will show kind of the head of your humerus, you know, and kind of the glenoid, or basically like a golf ball on a golf tee, and it'll show whether it's sitting on it, sitting this way, or sitting that way. So x-rays of the shoulder without an axillary view will not tell you whether or not a shoulder is dislocated. So if you think you did something to your shoulder and it's in a lot of pain and you can't really move it, get x-rays, make sure you get that view. Um, normally the way people dislocate it is they're reaching out and back like this, and um, or if you can see it better over here, and something will hit their arm and it'll force their shoulder out the front. So most dislocations happen out the front. Rarely if someone has a seizure or is electrocuted, they'll go out the back, and even more rare, sometimes it'll go, it'll kind of pop out below and they'll end up with like a Statue of Liberty type pose. Um, so again, get x-rays. If it's dislocated, the ER doctors will sedate you and then put it back in place. Now, if you dislocate a lot, what ends up happening is it's not as painful. You may be even able to pop it back in. Um, the problem with dislocating a lot is that over time you wear, like I said, the shoulder's like a golf ball on a golf tee. You kind of wear away the front of that golf tee and then it makes it so your shoulder will pop out even more. And uh, normally shoulder dislocations will come with an anterior labral tear. So if you dislocate it, it's likely you've torn that and that may need, be, need to be repaired um, if you're having a lot of dislocations. So, and then there's also people where it doesn't quite pop out, but it sort of pops out. It's called subluxing, which means it doesn't quite dislocate, but may get close. That may be your shoulder. If you find that happening um, and you're still able to move your shoulder pretty normally, it doesn't hurt that much. Chances are it's not dislocated. It's back in place. But that's something you probably want to see your orthopedic surgeon about and maybe get some physical therapy exercises to strengthen that, depending on what you have. So the short story is, if your shoulder is really painful and you can't move it that well, Get some x-rays make sure they get an axillary view to see if it's dislocated. If it dislocates all the time, then you probably want to talk to your doctor about how you can make it stop dislocating. Um, so I hope I was able to answer your question about how to tell uh, if your shoulder is dislocated. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. If you like this video, we put out new content every Friday, so please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.